President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to address an International Women's Day event that's on at the Twilling Stadium in the Free State this afternoon. This celebration is being held under the theme, I am Generation Equality. Let's cross now to our reporter, that's Palesa Moiti, for more on this event. Uh, Palesa, a, a great platform to dialogue on a number of issues pertinent to women empowerment on the continent. Well, currently we are at a centre here in Tuelang and um, this centre is actually going to be a shelter for abused women. There's also a portion of the centre that's going to be a training facility, you know, to give these women various skills from computer skills to, um, you know, clothing and all sorts of other skills. But we're go currently going to talk to, oh, just before we go into that, yes, indeed, we're expecting the president to arrive here any minute now. Everybody is geared up and just waiting you know for him to arrive so that this center can be officially opened it was built over a two-year period but right now we are going to talk to the chinese ambassador to south africa because the chinese also had a hand in this um sir thank you very much your thank excellency you. Thank, thank you very you. much for talking to us before we get into the details of the center let's talk about you know the fact that um the third victim of coronavirus um was actually uh, what announced today yeah. and China is already dealing with this pandemic yeah. um, what is your advice to South Africa because you already you know China has an ex a quite sufficient experience um, what's your advice to South Africa to in terms of how to deal with this mm. as you know corona virus uh, is, uh, is uh, now spreading globally unfortunately to say now is 94 country at this up to now is already more than 90 country in the world has uh, got infected uh, South Africa now, unfortunately, we also saw they have the three confirmed cases. But as you know, you said this is the battle between the nature and the human, and so it's caused a concerted effort to deal with them. I think it's in China. Uh, up to one more month, uh, fighting now the coronavirus in China is completely under our control. Uh, we, have, um, we, we got uh, more than 80,000 people got infected, but now more than 60 people already got cured and discharged from the hospital. And now, uh, yesterday, we only have hope the nationwide in China, we have over 1.4 billion population, but only 40, 42 or 44 confirmed cases are there only. In the whole country, the suspected cases, we have 84. And now in, we already have more than one week. Out of Hubei, the epidemic center, only have one or zero people die of the coronavirus. That means this coronavirus spread very fast, but it could be prevented, can be cured, can be treated. So I think it's not necessary to create such a kind of the panic. Now we already almost know where the coronavirus come from, or is it? And now the best way, I think the best and effective way is to identify earlier and treat it earlier, isolate it earlier and treat it earlier. So this coronavirus is, could be prevented and cured. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Mm. You. Um, yes, we just heard from the Chinese ambassador to South Africa, but right now we're going to be um, crossing to um, the Minister of Health, Dr. Zuelim Kize, just to get a little bit more clarity about you know, the latest victim here in the country. But with that, it's back to you in studio.